we need to understand what occurs if we do preventive interventions or therapeutic interventions in the first trimester of pregnancy. Will this have any negative impact on the newborn, on the fetus? Should we wait to further during pregnancy to begin our interventions? What is the impact of these interventions, both preventive and therapeutic, if we wait to the second trimester or even to the third trimester? And uh, how far can we start our interventions if we are close to delivery? What is the impact? All these questions are relevant because these uh, are the questions that uh, women normally uh, have. During pregnancy you have to be aware that everything is more bound to be inflamed and in fact it is kind of normal to have a, a pregnancy, a gingivitis during pregnancy. You know gingivitis in pregnancy uh, to be honest the majority of the time will resolve by itself but the problem is that sometimes it may happen that it actually triggers a higher level of inflammation and in susceptible patients may be the first step of a periodontitis. That's why it is crucial and extremely important that pregnant, pregnant women are seen and treated during their pregnancy. There are lots of implications, you know, social, cultural, psychological implications, but what is important that we need not to give up on pregnant women, on their gum health during this very important nine months of their life. I would not recommend any pregnant women to have an implant placed during their pregnancy. We have to remember that pregnancy is, uh, it has a short duration, that means after nine months everything will be solved, hopefully. So if you want to have an implant being placed, please wait after delivery to do it. Especially during pregnancy, all health is very important because hormonal changes often lead to gum bleeding, which is also known as gingivitis. Up to 70% of pregnant women experience gum bleeding during that period. And actually, I'm also pregnant, and despite I think I have a perfect oral hygiene because I'm a dentist, I experience gum bleeding for the first time in my life. If this is left untreated, this can lead to periodontitis. And periodontitis has been associated with several conditions such as preemplasia, low birth weight and preterm birth.